In this tutorial, we're going to learn how to integrate the content that we've created into our Adivis story. If you didn't see the first video, go ahead and check that out. It's going to show you how to set up your Adivis, um, the very basic options that you have as far as design and setup. So let's get started. Um, we're going to open up the project that we worked on in the last tutorial, and we're back to this dashboard. Um, if you want to go up here and change any of the settings, you can. You can always change these. They're just sitting up here waiting for you to play with them. Um, but I'm pretty happy with how it is for now. Um, I'm going to hit preview so we kind of remember what it looks like and what we're working with. Here you can see the title, this little footer. I have no content, so it's pretty bland as of right now. So I'm going to X out of this and come back to the dashboard. You have two options for adding content into your Adivist. You can either add text right here and start typing or copy and paste from a Word document, um, whatever you need to do, or you can add a block. So this little blue icon with the plus over here is where you can find all of the blocks that you're able to enter into your Adivist story. So if we click on this plus, it's going to bring up all the options that I have. I can add an image, a video, a map, a Giphy, a slideshow, an audio, a pull quote, a sidebar, text overlay. If you're really into coding and all that, you can do that. Um, you can add a table, you can add a chart, you can add a parallax image, you can add this little thing that compares an image before and after, um, a SoundCloud clip, a Twitter feed, an Instagram feed, a Flickr gallery, slide share, a button, and you can embed code from other places on the web. So as you can see, we have tons of options. Before we do that, we need to go ahead and set up this section. So Adivis divides your content into sections, and you get to choose what you want to call these sections um, and how you want them to look. So if you mouse over this little section one right here and then click it's going to give you a place to type in several pieces of information about this section. Um, you can also call them chapters, they're kind of interchangeable. So we're going to go ahead and call this image and text as a section title or chapter title and then as a subtitle we're going to type something that just talks a little bit about the chapter. Um, so I'm going to say learning how to integrate image and text into Adivist. Um, you can add an author here. I'm not going to do that because I don't want that to show up. Um, and then over here, as you see, we get to pick a section title design. This is kind of like the main title design that we picked, which as you can see here, is nine ways. So if I click on this, it's going to bring up another little drawer on the left. And I'm using the simple title design, and right here I can browse all other available title designs. Um, some of them have images, some of them don't, some of them have little boxes or crazy cursive text. You have several options. Um, my only advice would be keep it consistent. Whatever you use for this chapter, you should probably use for the next chapter or at least use something similar. So I'm going to go with the bold and see um, if I like that. If I don't, I can choose another one and kind of give it a little preview. Um, we're going to go with the bold for now and make sure you click use over here or that option will just disappear and you'll have to click through all of it to come back. And then, as you see, I get a little divider cover option. Um, so this is the divider that it's changing colors with. I'm going to go with this pretty orange and then click save once again. All right, and that's about it. That's, like I said before, the nice thing about Adivist is it pretty much conquers all the design feats for you. You get to make a few decisions, but you don't have to do the actual working part to make sure that it looks that way. Um, so I'm going to click Save, and then click Preview. So here's that main title design, and as I scroll down, whoa, there it is. This is the first section that we've created. It has the title, the little divider, which we picked a color for, and the subtitle. Um, looking at it again, I've decided that I don't like that little divider in there, but no big deal. You just click section title again, browse title designs, and I'm going to change it to this simple one. And click use, and then save. All right, so 
we made that decision, but there's still no content. So the first thing I'm going to do is add text. You can either write something or add a block. As I said earlier, I'm going to add text from a paper that I wrote for a WRTC class this semester. Just so you can see what it looks like and click paste. Got some extra spaces in there. And it's just basic boring text. There's nothing very exciting about it. I'm going to add a little paragraph there so we can see how that works. And then click save and then preview. And scroll down and there you go. You can see this drop cap, which is a setting you can turn off based on your theme, which we chose in the last video. Um, I kind of like it, so I'm going to leave it there. And there it is. And then we're going to X out of that. Okay, so we've added text. Now we can add an image. And an image, as you're, if you remember, is a block. So I'm going to click on the image block, and there you go. It drops it in right away. All right. Now, it happened to drop it in between my two paragraphs. And I'll show you several different ways so that you kind of see what they look like. Um, if you hover over the image, you can see this little edit. And we're going to click on that and then upload our own image. So I'm going to click on this nice picture of leaves and click use. And then it's going to have this little loading bar over here. This image file is pretty large, so it's going to take a little while. Um, I should have downsized it before I uploaded it, but we'll just go with it for now. And there you go. There's a little preview. So make sure you click Done. And then there's that image right there in between my text. So we're going to hit Preview again. and then scroll down and we have the title, subtitle, text, and then this image right where I stuck it, right in the middle. Alright, but you're not going to want to put every picture right there if you put any right there. So we're going to go back to the editor and if you roll over the picture again you can see several options here. We're going to click on this first option which is also known as a parallax image. Click Save, click Preview, and then scroll down and as you can see this is now a full width image that I can scroll over as I get to my text so that's pretty nice and then we're gonna go back and scroll over this and then click on this little left align and as you can see it drops it to the left and wraps my text around the image so we're gonna click Save again hit preview scroll down and there it is all right you can also put it on the right. It does the same thing, so I'm not going to show it to you. Um, now, if you do have an image that requires caption or could use a caption or an image credit, you can click right here and add this. Pretty basic. Hit preview. You can also see that little caption, which is nice. All right. And then we're going to go ahead and copy this text because I want you to see what it looks like with a lot of text in there. So this would be several paragraphs. Save and preview again. Scroll back down. Paragraphs are there. Alright, and then we're going to add another image. This time we're going to click and drag. And as you can see it kind of gives me options as far as where I want to drag it within paragraphs. I'm going to put it down here. and then. This cross is telling me that this is not my content. So I'm going to go back to my finder and choose a different image, click, drag, hover over, and drop. This is another way to add an image to a block. Once again, I can add a caption, like so, and then I can make a design choice as far as where I'd like it. I can even click over here these six little dots I can click that and move it up and down if I like and it arranges my text accordingly and then we're gonna click save and then preview and then scrolling down you can see the header subtitle text the first image and then the second image is right there um, 
as you can see I made an error these are way too close together they don't allow enough room for these to go through but you get the basic idea um, so I'm gonna go ahead and move this down a little bit so that it fits in the right place whoops didn't go down drop it in hit preview and there you go that is much better I can now read all of this text and there we go so that's all for this video um, just showing you how to add text and images um, we'll, in Tuesday in class we will go over how you can organize your content before you start this step but if you want to go ahead and get started and get a head start that's great